he what he's saying is i've been supporting black people my whole life and they're still saying it's not okay to be white you know if somebody if you've been supporting somebody and they still don't want to accept you would you still support them like i mean that's just uh to me that's a human trait not a black thing a white thing it's just common sense if somebody don't support me i'm not supporting them why do i have to keep going out of my way to support them right you know that doesn't make any sense and then for him to say they need to run well guess what black people run from their own people all the time when things get bad in the city guess what they pick up and move out to the county they go out to other neighborhoods and areas where their people are not there because they think the same thing the problem is they don't like white people to say it Everything I'm about to say, you already know it to be true. You are a slave. You are a slave to money, to social economics, to status, to politics, to ideology. You have sold your soul to have a place in a world order that you should naturally oppose. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, my brothers and sisters, before I start cooking on this, I want to say this here. Y'all need to support me. You know, like the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell icon to get notifications. By now, I've proven myself. By now, I've held up to y'all scrutiny. Y'all challenged me. Y'all asked me questions. I've answered the questions. I've been under the, the bright light of your interrogation, and um, I've stood my ground. I've proven to y'all that I'm actually here for my people. I am not against my people in no way, shape, or form. But I'm not really against nobody. But that's another that's another topic for another day. So help the channel grow, trigger the algorithm, and um, help me do this work. Let me get right into this shit here. Okay. You heard the latest. Now, all this stuff comes about this Scott Adams dude. These statements that he made about how white folks should get away from black people. This got a lot of people talking, you know what I'm saying? Uh, is it racist? Uh, or was he just speaking the truth? You know what I'm saying? Stuff like that, right? And of course, like I always say, every time somebody say something about us, niggas be quick to try to listen in for whatever they say that's true and start, yeah, yeah, you hear? You hear? He just speaking the truth. That's what they do. Y'all gonna stop playing with me, bro. Y'all gonna stop acting like I ain't a black man, an old black man that grew up in the black city in this country. Like I ain't been here all my goddamn life. Y'all gonna stop treating me like I'm a foreigner, bro. Like I don't know what the hell we do. Our main goal, too many of us, our main goal is to get away from black people. We gravitate towards anything and everything negative towards black people. But I'm gonna show you why not only is Scott Adam a racist, but I'm going to show you why these women, these black women up here, namely the host who call herself Be More Conservative. That should tell you everything you need to know about her. And the next one that was cheerleading while that chick was talking, she called herself Pop Star Shelly E. I guess you want to be another Sheila E, I don't know. And then you got the one that was talking in the clip. She called herself Shonda Is Great. I'm going to show you why these are coonstress. I'm not talking about, I'm not going to deal with that, that Middle Eastern girl, a gypsy lady, whatever she is. And I ain't worrying about the heavy set light skin sister up there in the, in, in the upper left-hand corner or, or however it is on your screen. I'm not sure how it looks on your screen. But the woman over here, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I got to figure out how to point at that thing. But I'm not going to deal with her, right? The one, Kendra. I'm not going to worry about Kendra because she didn't say much. You know what I'm saying? She just kind of pointed out that she, she actually was the only one who admitted out openly that she lives in a white area. And that white people also do a lot of stuff that the man was complaining about, such as like trash pickup and stuff like that, right? So I don't have a problem with Kendra, but I want to talk about Be More Conservative, the host. Did I not say that when you have these blacks that are, that are under the mindset of conservatism, they always seem to hate black people? Now, here's the problem. The reason why these other ladies are the same, because whether for a black female... It doesn't matter if she's conservative or liberal, she's still going to have an anti-black mentality. Because the leaders of the liberal um, the liberal social political thinking for women is white, 
racist, man-hating, atheist lesbians. That's their leader. White, racist, atheist, man-hating lesbians. That, that is their leader. So because they are loyal to these, these women, they internalize the racist ideologies of these women. So they don't only just hate men, which that is directed only at black men when it's a black woman. They also hate black people in general. So whether a black woman is on the social political right or the social political left, she is going to internalize self-hatred. It's just going to happen. But I'm going to come back to that. My point is, when you see names like Be More Conservative, you already know what you're dealing with. Why y'all playing with me, bro? Where are you conservative coons at right now? Why y'all playing with me? Why y'all act like that's not a, that's not a, a, a racist social political side of the country? Why are we playing these games, bro? I'm too old to be playing with y'all, bro. Y'all can't fool me. I know what the hell I'm looking at, man. I've been seeing it too long. Most of you motherfuckers are younger than me. Most of y'all are younger than... Wait, most of y'all are younger than my children. I've been seeing this stuff too long. You can't fool me. You can't trick me. I know what I'm seeing. So as soon as I seen the name Be More Conservative, I know what you was dealing with with her. But now let's get to the chick talking about self-preservation. There is no more self-preservation for a black American than to stay away from, from white conservative areas. Now, in full disclosure, I don't live a, I don't live in a predominantly black area. My neighborhood is mixed. It's about maybe... Uh, it's probably about maybe 60%. I mean, not 60, but um, maybe 50%, 45, 50% white. About 25% black and then everybody else. So between blacks and whites, it's about 70% between blacks and whites. And then everybody else you have in here, right? And it's very, very mixed in. It's very diverse. But I don't live here because it's not a majority black neighborhood. That's not why I'm here. I'm here because it's a nice neighborhood. I'm here because it's a nice community. My thing was I wasn't running away from black people. In fact, I would still be in that black city if not for Hurricane Katrina. I moved to Dallas after Hurricane Katrina. I got uprooted. I landed here and I kind of just stayed here. You know what I'm saying? I mean, that's what a lot of people did. They, they stayed where they landed. I landed here and I stayed here. But I didn't run away from black people. That's not why I'm here. I'm here because it's, it's a nice community. And they do have black suburbs, by the way. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to get away from black people. But the truth of the matter is, what, 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 what you find in too many black folks is that they want to get away from black people. This is their goal. That's their only goal. So when you hear this girl talking about self-preservation, self I, I call bullshit on, on pop star Shelly E. I call bullshit. Because there is no greater self-preservation for a black American than to stay away from Chris, uh, um, white conservative areas. There is no greater uh, act of self-preservation. Didn't Trayvon Martin get, get stalked and deleted in a, in a white conservative county? He wasn't in the hood. He wasn't gangbanging and all that stuff. Huh? He wasn't popping bottles and all this shit. He was in a white conservative area and got stalked and deleted. And then the dude that stalked him and deleted after the police told him don't do it, gets off. Because the jury from that county let him off. Didn't just let him off. Talking about, oh, he meant well. He killed somebody. It don't matter what he meant. George meant well. It don't matter. He he followed the dude after he was told to not do that. Started the altercation with the dude that resulted in him having to shoot the dude because the young dude was beating his ass. In on no other place in, in, in this country where in the world would that be considered self-defense but racist America that's the only place where that's self-defense racist America I need my water I'm so hyped right now man but anyway I, I didn't bring it so fuck it we gonna just keep rolling you know she talking about self-preservation there is no greater form of self-preservation I remember a couple of years ago this black chick was living around all white folks she bringing her dog she was she was dating a white boy bringing her dog to a pet smart in that area and, and i mean the, the the white lady just at the counter just got tired of seeing her coming in went off on her cursed out called all types of niggas told her to get out the neighborhood get from around us this is how these people feel about you 
They don't live around them areas because they want you there. Think about John, uh, uh, um, um, Henry Lewis Gay Jr., the doctor, uh, professor, whatever he is. He lives in this all-white area. He locks himself out of his house, trying to get in his house. He get, her, get arrested for trying to get in his own house because somebody called the police. You don't think the white folks knew that nigga lived there? Dude on fucking TV, bro. You don't think them white folks knew who he was? That was their excuse to fuck with him. That was their way of politely telling him, nigga, you are not wanted around here. So there is no worse place that a black person can live than around conservative whites. What the hell is y'all talking about? Now, I'm not going to say, you know, um, liberal whites like us, but we safe around them. I live in that kind of area, in fact. We safe around them. Around them, we, we don't have to worry about none of them just shooting us for no goddamn reason, right? We safe in those areas. You know what I'm saying? But, I mean, not all of them like us. Not all of them are friends with you. Just that most of them just don't even care. You know, most of them just go about their day, live their life. You know what I'm saying? I mean, that's that that's the good thing about them. You know, most of them are real. Just They're just people. Most of them are just people. But they are not feminists. They are not liberal. I, I say liberal, but I shouldn't say that because... Most of these people are not what you are political liberals. I, I I don't know how they vote, you know what I'm saying? I just know how they act. So let me say that there. Most open-minded whites, you know, they carry themselves a bit differently, you know what I'm saying? But them conservative whites, they, they don't want no blacks around them, bro. So when you talk about self-preservation, as soon as you see them American flags hanging all over the place, you sure run. The hell you talking about self-preservation? And she around there clapping and cheering for this for this other coon, this other coon chick while she talk. I'm gonna come back to I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna come back to her again. Now, let's go to the one, the one they call herself Shonda is great. That's the one who clip I played coming in. I, I want you to think about what she said about uh about supporting people, right? Getting away from people that don't want your support. I want you to think about that. He, what he's saying is, I've been supporting black people my whole life, and they're still saying it's not okay to be white. You know, if somebody, if you've been supporting somebody, and they still don't want to accept you, would you still support them? Like, I mean, that's just, a, to me, that's a human trait, not a black thing, a white thing. It's just common sense. If somebody don't support me, I'm not supporting them. Why do I have to keep going out of my way to support them, right? You know, that doesn't make any And she said all that, but yet black women are diehard loyals to feminism. And feminists do not support black women at all. They make it clear every chance they get they can't stand black women. They make it clear every chance they get that that, that, that is not a, 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 a mutual beneficial arrangement. That them black women are only, are only welcome for as long as they support their cause the white women the white feminist cause but they don't break off from that in fact they're die hard for the rest of them that are liberals they are die hard liberals and get nothing out of it liberal politics don't do nothing for black people and neither do conservative miss be more conservative so all you conservative coons get off my dick conservative politics don't do nothing for black people in fact, the American system don't do nothing for black people. Y'all are diehard loyal to a system that don't do nothing for you. Everything she said is a contradiction of how they act. Because if you really thought that way, if, if the one throwing her hands up really understood self-preservation, we would not want to be a part of this system. If that nigga, that boy I want to say something so bad about, bis. Biscuit black, burnt black chick with red lipstick. If she really understood or, or she really felt like she said that you should not support somebody who don't support you. You should not support somebody who don't think that you have a right to even exist. She wouldn't support who she support. She wouldn't support the people she support because everything that she's loyal to, the system, the educational system, feminism, white women, Either the liberal party or, 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 or the conservative party. Everything that she's loyal to is white. And they are trying their damnedest to destroy us. They are trying to take us out. Who's she playing with, bruh? 
She can talk to y'all about that. She can't play with me with this madness, bro. I know better. Can the devil fool a Muslim? No, not nowadays, not, not nowadays, bro. They can't fool me, bro. I self am Lord and master. I recognize what I see when I see it. I am not fooled by none of these shenanigans. You could see the problem is what she said might be true if, if the if if the conversation itself was true, what she said would be true in that regard. But what she said is true in a larger sense that we should feel like this about white America in general. It's how we should be moving throughout this system in general. Now let's talk about what Scott Adams said. Don't get him confused for Scott Galloway. Scott Galloway is the professor. That's not that. That's not the same person. I have no idea who this man is. I never heard of him until, until this shit came out. I don't know why would he say you no know, matter so much. Like, why is it a big deal? Because I don't know who the fuck he is, you know. But uh, let's talk about what he said. And let's talk about whether or not it's true because. It is racist. Now, let me say this here. You know, you, you could serve a coon ass niggas. Y'all make me sick. Y'all always talking about virtue signaling and all this, this stuff. Y'all got all these little fancy words for, for when y'all want to try to talk about what liberals do. What do you call this? A survey. Now, first thing Scott should have did before he opened up his, his, his crack of dick sucking mouth. First thing he should have did was looked and seen how many people was even interviewed in the survey how many people took the survey what are we basing this off you talking about black people said nigga i ain't never been surveyed i didn't say nothing about you people so how many people was surveyed see this don't even take long before these countries before shelly e and be more conservative and, and, and shonda is great before they got their coon asses online and did all that. The first thing they should have did was look to see how many people was in the survey. Because that's what I did. But I'm pookie, right? I'm pookie. But that's what I did. And lo and behold, I went to the actual webpage for the survey done by Ramelson, Ramelson Reports. They said they surveyed 1,000 American adults. Oh, you didn't hear me. <laughs> you didn't hear me. At least you think you didn't hear me. You're like, nah, I ain't hear that nigga right, huh? You heard me. 1,000 American adults, right? And you already know that the number of blacks was probably only 20, 30 blacks. So that whole survey is based on what may be 20, 30, because they, you know, so they don't never survey equal numbers of nobody. It's always the overwhelming majority white. It's always at least 70, 80% whites, and then they start going down. And since a lot of times what they try to do, they try to go according to the population breakdown, the way they have it right now in their mind, which is wrong, by the way, but it don't matter. They claim it that we like 13, 14, 15%. So you can safely say that out of that 100, 15, I mean, out of that 1,000, 150, maybe, maybe was black. That's it. So... You gonna tell me what black people say based off of maybe 130 to 150 blacks, if that many. You gonna reach that conclusion that all of us feel that way. All, all, all 60, 70 million of us, because they lie about our population. All 60, 70 million of us feel that way about y'all based off of what 130 to 150 black people say, if that. And he know that. That was just his excuse. See, this is a dog whistle. See, that's them things that you can't hear, but them fucking dogs can. Or shall we call it a devil whistle? That's that devil whistle. He heard that, and that just justified him being able to finally say out loud what he really want to say. But nobody give a fuck, bro. This, this country is very segregated. The only stupid-ass niggas that want to live in the conservative white areas is these dumb-ass coon niggas. Because you got to be out your mind to want to raise your kids in that kind of environment. The environment I'm in, this is okay. This is okay. Your children will actually be out there playing with all kinds of kids. I mean, all races of kids be out there playing. 
But my point is, it was a thousand people, maybe 130 blacks, maybe. And he gonna get on there and say how black people feel about white people. And he gonna judge all of us based on that. He know that's not legit. He just wanted to say that. And these is here, instead of them looking up to see first how many people was even surveyed, they get up there smiling and shit like this is funny. This ain't funny, bruh. This is another fucking devil whistle. This is another thing that justify the white police shooting some dude down walking across the street telling me he jaywalking. We do this to ourselves. We allow this because of women like this. Because of cool bitches like them. This is why we are treated the way we are treated. This is why we are dealt the way we are dealt. Dealt with the way we are dealt with. Because all we do is sit up here and justify everything that them people do to us. We get on our panels and act like we the worst people in the world to be around. But let me tell you something about crime, man. This is about desperation. What y'all don't understand is that you got two types of people in the world. People that run, fold, and just roll over and die. And you got people who fight. Go down swinging. What you see in the people that's committing crime... Or the people that when they start circling the drain, they fight. They're going to do whatever they need to do to stay afloat. And that makes them dangerous. It makes them dangerous. Yes, I'm not justifying them. I'm just telling you what it is. And the, and the, the truth of the matter is a lot of people are circling the drain. Just that most people don't have it in them to fight. So they just circle the drain and go down. They just go homeless. They just, they just get depressed commit commit self-deletion that's what most people do but them people that fight those are the ones that get that commit crime i understand them because i'm a fighter before i just go down the toilet bro i'm gonna do what i gotta do now i'm not gonna hurt nobody i have a code like i said i'm an old school dude i have a code so you your life is safe i'm not gonna hurt you but I'm gonna hustle. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna hit licks. I'm gonna do whatever I feel I need to do to try to stay afloat. I'm not gonna just roll over, bro. And that's what you're seeing. The system causes these problems, but nobody wants to blame the system. We want to blame us for reacting and responding to conditions that we grow up in. We're not the only people that hustle like that either. Whites commit crimes. Move your ass in a white ghetto because they got them too. All kinds of shit be happening. You're going to see trash everywhere. You're going to see people getting robbed and mugged and everything. It's the same story. Don't make it seem like it's just us. It's the conditions that people are in and how they choose to respond to it or react to it based on what's inside of them. Some people going to fight and do whatever they got to do. Some people will just roll over, get depressed, go homeless, be a bum on the corner. It just depends on the person. But the real problem is the system. But we don't talk about that. These kind of black women love that system. They will never go against that system. They will never say a bad thing about that system. They love it. They uphold it. And they're proud to uphold it. And they are proud to get online and shit all over black people. But y'all wants to call me the coon. Y'all got problems, man. Y'all got problems. And I, I, I ain't your problem. Because I would never do this to my own people. I would never get online and dump on us like that, man. Because I'm going to look at, first of all, I'm going I'm to I'm do my due diligence and find out. You know what I'm saying? How many people was, was even in the sample group? Come on, man. All of this is just that. That's that's devil whistling, man. That's just that's just saying something, putting something out there to allow these devils to 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 say what they want to say and, and, and respond how they want to respond. And now you got these conservative cool niggas and and, and, and these liberal bitches get online and, and and justify all this shit shit on us even more for the white folks and then y'all want to go join black lives matter with some some innocent brother get shot down for doing damn nothing this is why they do this to us bro 
This is why they do this to us. I told y'all, man, that our main goal is running. That's about the only thing that 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 coon chick said. Uh, Sean did great. The only thing she said right is that we run too. That's our main goal: getting away from black people. And y'all know it, bro. And 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 white folks know it too. They know that y'all main desire is not to be around your own people, and that's a damn shame. That you hold so such low opinions of your own people that you don't even understand. You from the black community, and you act like you don't even understand why we do what we do. You act like you don't understand why we move the way we move. Y'all can't be that disconnected, bro. But I'm the coon. Okay. I'll just have to be the coon then. Support the channel, man. Like the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. Hit me up at Patreon. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but Patreon is not ready yet. I'm, I'm, I'm almost, though. Almost. But you can. Hit me. Don't, don't, don't. Hey. Hey. It's time for y'all to support me. Y'all supporting all these other people. Fuck that. I'm, I'm tired of, you know, I'm not here for money. It's not an income source for me. But show me that you that you recognize what I'm doing here, man. Throw me five bucks. Venmo at the Black Alpha. Cash App at the Black Alpha. PayPal at realblackalpha.com. Show me that you understand what you see while I'm moving, bro. Show me that you appreciate somebody keeping it real with y'all for a change. Come on, my brothers and sisters. We got to do better than this. We got to start letting people like this represent us, man. They didn't did all this stuff off a hundred, hundred people. Come on, man. Let's stop this madness, bro. I'm out of here, man. I'm Brother Kush, a.k.a. The Black Alpha. Salam.